you guys, Jim Princess here, and today we're going to make healthy chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, that's right, I said healthy chocolate chip cookies. You probably never thought you would hear those two words together in the same sentence, but it's possible, trust me. I know we all love cookies, but they're empty calories, no good stuff in there for you at all, so it's just like, <laughs> your diet goes, no! But, today we're making cookies that you do not have to feel guilty about. So let's get started. So here are all of our ingredients. And I like to get them laid out for y'all. And it's very, very simple, trust me. And these right here are ground oats. They're the secret to making these not go straight through your system and not give you any good stuff. They're literally just ground up oats. The cheapest kind you can buy. So it's not some fancy thing that costs a million dollars at the store. This is not a break your bank kind of thing. Cause I don't even, don't even mess with those kind of recipes. And here's just regular chocolate chips, and this is brown sugar, and just regular sugar. You need a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of salt. And then you have to have some olive oil, and we just use a little bit of this, not a lot. And a little bit of milk, and I just have skim milk here. You can use almond milk if you want to. It's just whatever you want to do. Both work fine. So we're going to get started mixing our ingredients. First, you're just going to add your flour. I'm going to be really careful and we're just going to dump this in here. Boop. And I'm trying not to spill any with a lot of flour. And you literally just can put all your dry ingredients in here. So we're just adding our sugar. And putting in our brown sugar. I like to mix these up first because it's, it's easier. Instead of having the chocolate chips all clumpy, so we're just gonna mix it up, and it's really, it's so easy. You just mix it up, and you see it blends together nicely, and you just kind of smash that brown sugar and get it to blend in there really good. And I want to add my baking soda. You literally do not need much of this. I'm going to put a teensy bit in this teaspoon. That's all. Here's my little dash of baking soda, and I'm going to be putting a recipe on the channel for you guys to take a picture of. That way you'll have all the exact amounts. I've just added two and a half tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. We're about to add our milk, so it doesn't have to be like perfectly mixed. The milk is what really helps it get that batter texture. We add about six tablespoons of milk, so we're just going to do a little dash. I've made this a little bit. I'm pretty used to what the amount looks like. So we're just going to start with that. Add a little more. Just get this mixed up. Okay, so that took me a little second. It's kind of hard to mix, but that's good because you want it kind of thick. I'm just going to pick this up let you kind of see the consistency. You want it to be thick enough to where you can drop it on the pan and it be dropping sort of a ball and not just kind of spill all over your pan and just be a big giant mess. So here's my baking pan. I just have a big pan that I know will fit a lot of them. And it is made in America, you guys, because it's America. Okay, and I've preheated my oven to 375. Don't forget to preheat your oven, guys. It's always the saddest part me forget. And sometimes I grease it, sometimes I don't. It really doesn't matter too much from what I've found. But I'm just going to be using some little non-stick spray. Just a little bit. I'm not too particular about it. They normally don't have trouble sticking. So here we've got our batter. And we're just going to drop it on there. Really do that. Boop. Magic. And you want to know something else great about these cookies? There are no raw eggs. So you can literally eat the batter if you want to. <laughs> and it's pretty good. The olive oil gives it a little bit of a wonky taste before it's cooked. After it's cooked, the olive oil is not a problem. Ta-da! I just got these babies out of the oven. I like them to still be a little mushy because once they cool, they'll be absolutely wonderful. So we're going to let those cool. Ta-da! There are no fear cookies. Don't feel bad about eating them. They are warm and ready to eat. I'm actually about to go to Shirley's with my hubby, so I'm really excited to eat these. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now you have a cool new recipe to try. And these are cookies you don't have to only eat on cheat day. Just don't eat the whole batch. <laughs> They're only about 75 calories each, so 
don't feel bad. You're getting healthy carbs and healthy fats in them too. So you did it. You're awesome for eating these cookies. <laughs> Great to see you guys. Just like, comment, subscribe, and see you soon.